So let's get into this tea. We about to get into a story time. Honey Sauce sent me uh, surviving my ex, Drika. Let's get into it. I don't know what it's about. The second part, I ain't even got started on the first. Let me give y'all the backstory story first, though. And y'all better watch this whole documentary. When I tell you this shit. because it's going to be editing this out. Don't get good. Oh, yeah, Honey Sauce, you can get, send me some curses because editing them out. <laughs> don't get good. Before we start this shit. I got to raise my hand and swear to God, like they do in court, I ain't going to tell nothing but the truth and the truth only. I ain't trying to fuck up nobody's character or none of that. I'm going to just tell y'all what it was. All y'all females on here telling y'all stories, making us look bad, it's our turn to tell what the fuck y'all be doing. Now, back to the back story. So, back in like 21, I think, September or some shit like that, I met the girl off this here old TikTok app. I was like, Kind of fine, you know what I'm saying? She was trucking this, shit. you know what I'm saying? It looked like she was on that, shit. you know what I'm saying? It looked like we were compatible. So we a link here and there or whatever. <laughs> she, I go out there, she come out here with me halfway. So then, uh, she come telling me she wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Be in that old relationship shit. And I wasn't really, really with that. Shit. Then I was a hoe. I ain't gonna lie, I was doing my thing. My but she the difference between me and her was when I was doing my thing. I, I hey, I was real. You know what I'm saying? I stayed single. She did her thing. She, she wanted to stay with me. But anyway, though, back to the back story. So, yeah, I go out there and link. You know, we a link or whatever. We were just, I ain't going to lie. We were just, we were just hunching. So, when the girl told me, you know what I'm saying, she wanted to do that relationship shit, I cut off. Like, we stopped f***ing around. We ain't f***ing around for, like, I'll say maybe a year. But my brother was still talking to her friends. And I had put my brother on a friend. Damn. And they had a baby together and everything. But that's a whole nother story, though. Damn. But, yeah. So, yeah, like I was saying, I left her alone. All right. When we decided to rekindle, we started back talking or whatever. She told me she was talking to somebody. But see, the m was a lie, and I didn't know she was a lie the first time I with her because I ain't give a f to, you know what I'm saying, try to get that deep into the shit. I didn't want to do nothing but f anyway. Oh my so God. I ain't give a f about if she was lying, what she was lying about, none of that shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Like I was saying, she told me she talked to somebody, but she ain't never say uh, she was in a full blown Like She said, talk to somebody like y'all just texting or something. So, the BA rider, if you want to trail ride shit, you know, the BA riders had a ride out there in uh, Alabama. I mean, not Alabama, Mississippi. Big Bird, Mississippi with an all-black party thing. Yeah, if you, if you from down there, you know where I'm talking about in that little parking lot where Cracker Barrel is, that little plaza right there. You know what I'm talking about. So, we had planned, you know what I'm saying, link that day. We were going to be back and everything. Uh. So, when it came time, you know what I'm saying, later on that night, uh -huh. this man answering the phone, texting back. Or nothing. Uh. I'm trying to see what the f going on. Right. I'm like, I might have missed out on my little uh uh for tonight. You know what I'm saying? Then her friend covering her for and shit. Y'all know no friend gonna cover for him now. So I'm like, I just missed out on my shit for tonight, bro. So the next morning, she hit me up or whatever. I'm like, where the f you was? She like, oh, I got drunk, blase did, blase did. So that was the backstory. Now let me take y'all into part one. We finally, you know what I'm saying, uh, linked or whatever, and you know what I'm saying, Kyle, I said, we're going to get together. Whole okay. time, how the f*** you going to get with me when you just got out of a relationship with a whole nother digger? I'm talking about I ain't even been out of a relationship a month, two months, like this. I'm talking about girl had literally just stopped with the I don't even know if she was all the way done with him. I think they was still f***ing around then. So, y'all, the girl, uh... I'm saying, how he get into Karen, though? Why, why was we caring, though? What was we caring about? Because <laughs> technically, he didn't want to be with it anyway. He just wanted to do it. He just wanted to do it. He literally just wanted to do it. So why how, why did we get so serious? Oh, uh, hey, just got a relationship with a nigga. And man, I'm talking about this nigga just, just was doing weird shit. She sending her cash out. She swear she ain't talking to him. She swear she done blocked him. She swear he texted her from text now numbers and all this shit. So I'm like, bro, at this point, if you done told it, keep in mind now, I'm not knowing the girl just got a relationship with this nigga. But I ain't no crazy ass, bro. If a girl, I, I'm keeping my mind Oh, now. so when they rekindle, he want to be together. Okay. If a girl don't want you, bro, and, or, and you ain't, and she ain't entertaining you, why the f*** would this nigga keep blowing her up like this? Whole time, me being f blind, she still entertaining the nigga. But I ain't knowing. So fast forward, bro. I'm like, at this point, this nigga. I'm gonna check this. So 
We in the truck one day, bro. Her phone just kept going off, kept going off. I'm like, man, why the f this nigga keep calling you? Whole time, you know what I'm saying? Because at first I ain't give a f you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, the nigga gonna call with her, okay, whatever. But I'm talking about to be kept ring, kept ring, kept ring. So f that, answer the phone, bro. I said, matter of fact, if you say you ain't fucking with him, let me answer. Why I answer? I don't know. Oh, so man. I answered this phone, bro. When I answered this phone, I'm like, hello? He like, hello? I'm like, oh, what's up? He like, uh, what drink it? I'm like, she right here, what's up? So, he said, let me talk to her. I say, she, she, this she, this she, she ain't want to with you, bro. He was like, I was like, y'all must still talk to something. He was like, I just the money she ain't take and keep in mind. Oh, I ain't gonna lie, n****s should really go with their gut sometime. Why are the dogs barking so much? What do y'all see? Like, what is it? I'm so tired of these dogs. <sighs> this like, he like, he jumped on money when he dropped off in her truck. Keep in mind, this on like a two day or Wednesday or something. Cause I was coming through Golly. there. She had cooked at the house and I was coming through there. So I stopped at that exit 100 up in McCullough, Alabama at that Petro. She pulled up on brought me something to eat and shit. We were chilling. So I look over there like that. Didn't they just you uh, Monday? She was like, no, don't let him lie to you and shit. And my stupid ass supposed to have trust cause we in a relationship. I'm thinking. With your stupid ass. Say anything, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm a I say anything. I don't give a f so yeah. He told me that, shit and she and she talking about now nah, they ain't whole time. She a lot. Stay tuned for part two. <laughs> I like him. Whole time, she a lot. I've been going crazy, but here we go with part two. So whole time, bro. Let me tell y'all what crazy about this. Whole time. The truck moving. Are you driving? <laughs> Y'all ever look up at the truck and be like, what you doing? Why you looking down? Uh-uh, I need you to keep your eyes on the prize. You hear me? <sighs> but knowing about me, but I ain't I don't even know buddy. I ain't never seen this I ain't never heard of this None of that. All I know is she got it. I don't care where is from all of them sound just like this literally except new york they just sound deeper faster and just like with they with they accent but they be saying the same shit. but them country all of them sound the same so in that little time that we wasn't talking in that little time we weren't talking for almost a year right she told me she was with buddy for like six months and that six months was the six months prior to me and her, you know what I'm saying, rekindling or whatever. But what was always crazy to me is how the f this nigga know who I am, but I don't know who he is. So one day I'm riding down, we on the phone or whatever, I'm riding down the road and shit. I'm out there in the mountain. Y'all know the mountain that just got washed away out there in Asheville, no steep ass four lane, curb ass. Yeah, them mountains right there. In North Carolina, I'm coming down the mountains. All right. They got washed away. What that mean? Why is mountains getting washed away? The world just disappearing. It's disappearing as we know it. She like, have anybody uh DM you on Facebook, whatever? See, I had a lot of followers on Facebook and shit. So you know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, I don't really be checking on message request things like this. Man, I'm no, talking about, bro, I swear oh. to God, y'all, while we was on the phone, she told me, he said he was going to hit you up or some shit. I'm like, no, nah, don't know nigga need to be hitting me up, because I always stand on, bro. If if your, if you got a problem with your bitch, bro, check that, check, take that over her. Don't come to the nigga with it. So I'm riding, but that thing I know, the nigga ain't come call my screen on my phone, which I ain't going to put his name out there, because he ain't put himself, you know what I'm saying? He ain't, he ain't said shit to me yet. The only uh -huh. reason her name out here is because when I first brought up the situation, she came at me, you know what I'm saying, and put herself out here. That's why I mentioned her name. 
But anyway, though, buddy name come across the top of my screen. And I'm like, who the f*** is this? So it, it said he was calling me on Facebook Messenger. So I'm like, who the f*** is that? I go on my Messenger thing, Bye. and I see messages, bro. Buddy done tried to call me. I'm talking about he been sending me message after message, missed call after missed call. I'm like, what the f***? So <laughs> I hit the n back. I'm like, bro, what's up? Because at the time, I wouldn't, you know, well, it really dawned on me. Once she brought it to my attention, they said he was going to hit me up. It dawned on me, bro. This the nigga right here. So I'm asking buddy what's up or whatever, bro. You know what I'm saying? And he trying to get me on the phone to my call him, call him and shit. So I'm, I'm like, what's up, bro? Like, what you need me to call you What you, you need, for, gang? Bro? I don't even play like that. So long story short, I called him, right? And y'all know I got the gang on the phone or whatever. He got one of them. Android. Y'all know I had the gang on the phone, because I ain't gonna lie. I, I was on that hot boy shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, I don't really do something when I see you type shit. Oh, shit. So every time I click the gang on, to hear what they nigga gotta say, he like, you put somebody on three-way. I'm like, no, I ain't. He like, he keeps saying, conference call, you put somebody on the phone. I'm like, no, I ain't. Whole time, I got the whole gang on her. We ready to slide. So then, I hit up the man. I didn't realize at that moment, bro, I was the one that was Crazy. I was too blind. This nigga told me he still be with me. And my stupid ass ain't wanna listen. So fast forward, bro. That was in like December is, right? Right. Alright. Alright. Now we gonna fast forward to like <laughs> uh crip February, I right think. It was like February, right? Valentine's Day come around. Tell me why. Hold oh, up, keep in mind, this nigga was steady popping up here, popping up there, doing little pity shit, here, pity shit. Here. So at this point, I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm on some, I'm on some hot boy shit. Yeah. So look, fast forward to February. Now, she got a daughter, right? I'm guessing him and the daughter had some, established some kind of relationship in the little city Monday, they were talking or whatever. But. Baby, can you bring me, um, the Larry Bopper with the batteries in it? Cause it's a Larry up here that keep with me she asked me one day she was like how you feel about him still fooling with the little girl and i'm like hell no that shit right there gonna get somebody egg, bro you know i done had altercations with this man bro multiple times so i know i ain't tripping bro wait what i'm confused now I'm guessing him and daughter had some established some kind of relationship in the little city Monday. Him and about. his daughter? February, right? Valentine's Day come around. Tell me why. Oh look, keep in mind, this nigga was steady popping up here, popping up there, doing little pity shit here, pity shit here. So at this point, I'm, I'm you know what I'm saying? I'm on some, I'm on some hot boy shit. So look, fast forward to February. Now, she got a daughter, right? I'm guessing him and the daughter had some established some kind of relationship in the little city Monday was talking or whatever. Okay, he was taking care of the daughter. But she asked me one day, she was like, how you feel about him still fuck, fooling with the little girl? And I'm like, hell He no. just make it sound so crazy. But he basically saying, how do, she asked how did he feel about him taking care of her daughter is what I'm getting from it. Oh. That shit right there gonna get somebody egg, bro. You know I done had altercations with this man, bro. Multiple times. So I know I ain't tripping, bro. I don't care what type of relationship they have, bro. If you got a new man and your new man say, hell no, due to the fact they done had altercations, like, bro, you really think I'm gonna be cool with this coming around here, fooling with the little girl, or being in the picture and shit, knowing y'all. Fooling with the little girl, though. Ugh. Y'all, you know how you kind of paying attention, not paying attention, so then it catch your attention. I hate the way he's saying it right now. It is so terrible. Sound like neither one of them ain't the daddy. You know what I'm saying, bro? Hell no. So she just said what I said. She still, you know what I'm saying, behind my bed letting this shit go on. Back to February. Clearly, you wasn't taking care of that baby then. By the time they come. I'm still standing in Mississippi at this, at this point right here, y'all. I come up in her little spot. 
Tell me why. Now keep my I've been on the road. I just had just got out the road. I come to her spot, y'all. Tell me why. This girl had a whole Valentine Day basket on the counter from the dude. But the little girl. They pictures on the bag and all that shit. Keep in mind, I've been on the road all week, bro. You ain't told me now time that this nigga brought nothing over here or none of that. So I asked, I'm like, how did she even get over her? We at this point we into it now. Cause why the fuck I walk in your spot? You got a uh Valentine gift thing on the counter with this picture and stuff for the little time I it's for her. Then I asked her how to get in her. She telling me her mama picked it up. Now the mama thing a whole nother story. I had to get in there later on. But yeah, I said, man, it's hell right. no. Nah. That's out of place, bro. She out of place, bro. Why the fuck would you allow your mama to go get some shit from this dude that you so-called ain't fucking with? And bring this shit up in her, and ain't told me nothing about it. And I walk in, it's just a fucking surprise to me. So y'all know what I do. I get back in my shit. Mississippi, here I come. Stay so he he from Mississippi, not Alabama. Your mama to go get some shit. Hold on, because I missed the mama yes, trying to layer about. She telling me her mama picked it up. Now, the mama thought a whole nother story. I had to get in there later on. But, yeah, I said, man, hell no. Nah. That's out of place, bro. She out of place, bro. Why the fuck would you allow your mama to go get some shit from this dude that you so-called ain't fucking with and bring this shit up in here and ain't told me nothing about it? And I walk in, it's just a fucking surprise to me. So, y'all know what I do. I get back in my shit. Mississippi, here I come. Stay tuned for part three. I'm trying to keep up. I mean, I got the gist of it. Uh, I don't think it's too much more uh, to get. I think it's time for me to tell my story of how I survived my Y'all, I hate October and a lion at Libra. My ex got me hating every month. Libra God put on earth. I ain't do shit but lie. My stupid ass believe her. I was sitting in the truck one day, and her ex that she with now kept calling her phone, calling her phone. She had oh, like, she still with him, too. Like she didn't want to answer, because she lied to me like she had a block. So I said, let me answer. Hello? Hello? I said, what's up with her, bro? He said, where she at? I said, right here, what's up? I said, y'all y'all must still talk, been fucking around or something. He said, I just fucking money, she ain't take you. I looked over there. So I guess this is his start to letting everybody know. 111 in the chat. Say, said, y'all just for money. She said, nah, don't let that boy lie to you. Come to find out, y'all. He had just my piece that money, but I got some more to tell y'all. I'll be back. <laughs> y'all, I hate. Okay. So we got to stay tuned for part three. Um, I, Some men, I feel like, should go with their tuition, intuition. I think... Some a lot of women should too, but child, he done got played. Y'all let me know if y'all enjoying this and I can update y'all on part three and part four when he puts it out. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.